Hey guys, this is Just Another 80s Geek, and you are watching the Geek Showcase, where we showcase all things geeky, and we are geek proud, so nothing to be ashamed of or we'll get made fun of. It's all positivity here on the channel. We just highlight things that you can be geeky about and enjoy those and showcase those here. And today we are going to be doing another of our um, look at some baseball cards, because I am a baseball card geek. Um, I'm not hardcore into it as much as, uh, you know, that I know all of the ins and outs of the modern baseball card collection uh, landscape, but I was huge into it as a kid. I love opening cards. I love collecting cards. So that is what we're going to be do, doing today. We've done a few of those, um, and we're just going to be looking at a different brand, a different series today, so you guys can get a look at what those cards look like, etc. So let's get right into it and show you what we're going to be looking at today. All right, the mood is set winding down here in real life in the final days of baseball uh, for the year and we are looking at today uh, kind of an old school look this is tops 2021 allen and ginter world champions uh, we're looking for autograph cards and relic cards here there's going to be 48 total cards here apparently they believe that you need to be six years old or older to play with baseball cards um, I don't know where they get that, but uh, that is what we have today. Um, and it shows you a little bit about what the cards are going to look like uh, today. As you can see, Javi Baez and uh, Fernando Tatis and Aaron Judge, Mookie Betts on there, Mike Trout. Uh, 48 total cards, um, 7 packs, plus 1 extra pack. 6 cards per pack, um, unless it has an insert, sometimes then they can be less. Um, and then obviously there's just another look at all of that here. Um, and then there is where you're going to see all of the different odds. Um, so you can see approximate odds per pack of finding the sequentially numbered, etc., etc. goes all the way through there. Um, so that's kind of what you're looking for there. Some have uh, great odds and some not so great. So um, you can see that uh, goes from, let's see. 1 in 3,000, 1 in 1,000, 1 in 4,000, 1 in 10,000, to some that are just 1 in 4, all right, or uh, 1 in 8 right there, 1 in 8 down here. So um, up here, 1 in 2, uh, short print of the base card. So we will see what we get there. So that is the box. There's nothing else to see here. So let's go ahead and rip this plastic off and see what kind of cards we get today. All right, and I also forgot to mention that this is what you would consider a blaster box. Um, blaster box is a box that has multiple packs in it. So this is a blaster box um, as opposed to an individual pack, which is what we will see in here, or a mega box or a hanger box or things of that nature. So um, for example, this would be a hanger box, right? It hangs on things there, and it does not have individual packs in there. It's usually just uh, straight up cards, um, whereas this one is going to have individual packs. So, all right, let's take a look and see. And we do have two of these um, to go through today, so 48 cards each. So, if we have time, we'll have a little bonus at the end of an, of another quick pack of something that's similar but but different. Um, but we'll see if we have time for that. So let's get right into it. Let's open this one here. So this one, unlike some of the other ones we see, doesn't have those all like centered in the middle there with a divider. It's just a loose pack here, um, which is kind of interesting. A little bit less secure, I guess. Um, so this is what we have here. All right, so we have eight packs uh, to go through and six cards per pack. So, all right, well, let's take a look. There's no real gloss to these cards, as you can see, kind of like that matte finish, um, as opposed to some of the other videos I've done, which have had much more you know, shiny cards, but I guess that's to get that old school look here. Um, I also don't know if they're just going to be listing the last names on these or not, um, like we see here with just Smith um, with a period after it. Maybe that's how they did it back in the day. I'm not familiar with the old school Allen and Ginter cards, but all right. So we have, yep, looks like that because that's Freddie Freeman. Mm 
That is Bob Feller. So I'm going real old school with that one. Then we have a mini card. Rookie card there. As is designated here by the RC. Little mini guy. Will Craig. So it does list the whole name on the back there. And since it's a rookie card, it's interesting. If you can see this, it lists runs and things like that, and there's just a bunch of zeros. <laughs> so, height and weight. Everything's typed out. Path and throws. Where they were born. Where their home is. How they were acquired. 2016. So everything is typed out. What worded out. Like old school. So that's kind of interesting. That's cool. And that's the same way on these... Uh, See how it's 570 instead of 570. So that's interesting. Um, then we got something colored here. What's this guy? Birds of a Feather. We have a bird card. All right. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I didn't look at all the subsets. ALK line, so uh, another old school one. That's kind of cool that you get some of those Hall of Fame players in there. So, all right, let's see what we have out of this second pack. So the reason I do these guys and kind of try to grab packs from various brands and subsets, etc., is to um, try to give you guys a look for what you can expect when you open these packs and what to what they look like, so you have an idea if it's something that you would want to buy or not, and things of that nature. You know, based on the style and whatnot. Here's Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card. He's having a pretty good rookie season for the Orioles. And then we got, of course, Ken Griffey Jr. That's a good-looking card. Miguel Sano. We have another mini card here. Another rookie card. That would be Brady Singer. It's a little different here. I don't know why that one has a different back than the rest of them have. Commemorating the picture cards brought out in the year 1887. As I throw that on the ground. So again, that is another mini card there. Carlton Fisk, October 21st, 1975, Tops Historical Hits, is what that one says. I don't know if it says anything on the back or not. Yep, it's talking about that specific hit. I won't read that whole thing, but uh, it goes into what he did there. And then we have Billy Williams, young-looking Billy Williams. All right. So it looks like those sh uh, mini cards, so far we're getting one per pack. That might be one of the more uh, common subsets. Again, we're looking for autograph cards and relic cards seem to be the what they're advertising on the box is kind of the big get. The reason they're trying to get you to buy this blaster box is to have a chance to, to get an autograph or a relic card or something of that nature. So we'll see. All right, Jackie Robinson. There. The mini cards make it hard to flip through because I'm trying to make it so they don't fall. Uh, Trammel, rookie card there. Oh, I got two cards there. Kenta Maeda. There's the mini card. This is Nate Pearson. Now that's a little bit different. As you can see, it has his whole name and has it displayed differently there. I don't know if this is a subset of some sort of the mini cards here. Let's see. MRD6 is the numbering. So that's some type of subset. All right. Then we got another animal here. Giant panda. I didn't know we were going to get animal cards in here. And Dallas Keiko. All right. Nothing crazy so far. I'm not expecting anything crazy. I'm not expecting to open some card that's worth thousands of dollars or anything like that. Just having fun and looking at another set of cards and 
going with it. Oh, my favorite player of all time. That's awesome to get. So this is the highlight for me. This is why I do this type of stuff. Ryan Sandberg card. He's my all-time favorite player. I have his autograph on his rookie card um, that he did in person for me. So uh, he was my hero growing up as far as the baseball world goes. Vlad Guerrero. Jose Ramirez. Another mini card here. Roy Campanella, old school. We have two in a series of 50. Detroit. Says Murad around there. Or 11 in a series of 50, probably, not two. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my ignorance. So a series of 50 cards, I'm assuming. That's not like a numbered card, like uh, like there's only 50 of them. I think this is just a series of 50 cards that you can get. T51 Mirad Reimagined. I don't know what any of that means, but uh, I'll look it up after this fact. And then we got Tanner Hope. Some of these newer, younger guys, I gotta look at. That's what you get with a lot of the rookie cards. I gotta look at the back to find out what their first names are. Because um, unless they're on my fantasy team or someone I scouted to draft or stuff like that, I, I might be ignorant on the first names of a few of the rookies. Oh, this has my favorite Hall of Fame player outside of Sandberg. Um, old school one, so that's cool. We'll get to that in the last one in this pack, but I already got a peek of it. Uh, that's Marcus Simeon. Naylor. What is Naylor's first name? Josh. Josh Naylor. We have Carlos Delgado. Mini, we have a mini card of Nolan Arenado. We have a pine tree. I know arbor means tree, but I don't know if you, arboreal appreciation. I've never heard that phrase. Interesting. All about the pine tree. And then here's one of my all time favorites, Lou Gehrig. Probably one of the top five best players of all time. So that's awesome. I like that we get some of those guys in these packs, as you would expect, I guess, from a pack that's supposed to be as old fashioned as these are. So, all right, oh, a football player here, Randall Cunningham. I don't, I didn't, I guess I wasn't familiar with this uh, Alan and Ginter set and the fact that it was just going to be animals and trees and random football players and things of that nature. Kevin Kermeyer. Mike Piazza. Another one of those mini cards that likes to fall everywhere. Todd Grisham. This is another one of those historical hits, this time Edgar Martinez from 1995. And that's a rookie card for Jose Garcia. All right, two more packs and this box to go. See what we get. Luis Gonzalez. Diamondback. Trey Turner. Moises Alou. He was a cub when I was in high school. We got the tiny card of Roy Wood Jr., who is a comedian. This is a bizarre set of cards, guys. Now we have a zebra shark. And finally, Giancarlo Stanton. This is the most odd collection of cards that I've ever seen assembled. I don't get it. I guess if I buy baseball cards, I'm looking for baseball cards. I don't need fish and pine trees and football players and stand-up comedians, but I guess it's probably fun for some people. I don't know. 
Uh, Larry Doby, old school. Brubaker, another rookie card. What's his name? JT Brubaker. Oh my, Joe Carter. He was a Cub at one point. We have another one of these. This is 24 in a series of 50. One of those Murad cards. Buster Posey on there. That's what I thought. Oh, one of my least favorite players of all time, Joe Morgan. Douchebag. And then we have a mini card of Mangoes. Good for you. All right, that's it for the first box. Let's get into the second. Let's see what other exciting stuff we're about to pull out. What, what haven't we hit here? We got fruits, um, we got trees, we have animals and sea life. Um, comedians, we don't have any actors or singers yet. So I'm looking for an actor, singer, maybe something else in pop culture, like a TV show, professional wrestler. Um, that's what I'm looking for. So if we're gonna go, crazy let's let's go crazy give me the most bizarre stuff that i would never expect to find in a pack of baseball cards let's do it all right so we got kettle Marte, harman killebrew eloy jimenez we have the mini card of keller Brad Keller. Sorry, I was spacing on his name. We have eight in a series of 50. Cincinnati Reds. Assuming that's Joey Votto. Yep. And we have Christian Yelich. Nothing that's exciting me too so far out of this set, guys. I don't know about you. Um, yeah, it's a little crazy and I guess could be fun off the wall type stuff, but nothing exciting as of like a card that just really stands out from a design standpoint or from a you know, just appeal, like a visual appeal, but I guess I do dig some of the old school guys in here. Orlando Cepeda. Yasmani Grandal. Harold Baines. From my era. My childhood, I guess I should say. Gaylord Perry. Unfortunate name, but that's his name. Oh, another tree here. We got uh, Holly. Holly and Gary Sanchez, the Yankees. We're gonna have another Cub in this one. Excellent. All right, is that Justice Sheffield? Yep, Justice Sheffield. Michael Conforto. Bobby Dalbach rookie card for the Red Sox. Another mini card here, that's Shohei Otani. That might be a decent one. Um, historical hits, Albert Pujols from 2020. And Ernie Banks, let's play two. All time great Cub. All right, so at least I got an Ernie Banks and a Ryan Sandberg card, since I'm a Cubs fan, that makes this somewhat worth it. Kyle Hendricks, speaking of Cubs. Christian Javier. I love that they put the period after the name. AJ Book. Another mini Cub. This is a draft pick rookie card here. Probably. Rookie card Braylon Marquez. He hasn't really been playing much in the big leagues yet. We have Deep Sea Shiver, the Silver Tip Shark. And we have Will Craig. All right. It's hard to keep this uh, stack of cards stacked off camera here because of the mini card. They, they keep throwing a loop in the thing. All right. All right, that's a rookie card. David Peterson. D. 
Didi Gregorius. Jose Rojas. No, Miguel Rojas. Excuse me. Hats off, the flat cap. We have a card of a hat. See, I knew there was going to be something else crazy we were going to get. Seems to be the most common subset thing I'm getting here. 17 in a series of 50 for Minnesota. Banner here with uh, Byron Buxton. And then we have Anthony Rendon. All right. I got to admit, guys, I don't think I would buy these cards again. I don't think I would buy any Allen and Ginter cards moving forward. Maybe I was just ignorant of what I was getting myself into here. All right, there we go. Another celebrity here of a uh, kind. And this is Rose Lavelle. Um, pro soccer player, I guess. All right. Chris Bubik. Daryl Strawberry. All eras represented. Is this the... Is this literally TJ Lavin? The challenge host from MTV has a card here. Then we have the Green Wing Macaw and Jack Flaherty. This is a bizarre set. Goodness gracious. Who comes up with this stuff? The MTV host of the reality series The Challenge, which is the road rules and real world stuff, got a card in a 2021 box of Allen and Ginter baseball cards. Javi Baez. I'm losing out hope on any type of signature relic here, guys. Kyle Lewis. I know the chances are never good for those, but... It's another hockey player. Freaking hate hockey. Jeff Carlson. Oh, no. This is an actor. Apparently, he was in All My Children. Things of that nature. That is a actor, Jeff Carlson. I told you we were going to get an actor in there somewhere. Far, far away, Caldwell 62. A dwarf galaxy. We got a card of a galaxy. Like, is that the, that's the most visually striking thing we can put on a baseball card? All right. Historical hits, Ozzy Smith. And Albert Abreu. Is that a rookie card? Yep. Albert Abreu. Nine times out of ten, if I haven't heard of them, they're a rookie. Alright. Stargell, Willie. Alec Bohm, rookie card. Max Freed. Pudge, Ivan Rodriguez. I was worried that that was backwards in the pack. With the white rhino. And Barry Larkin. So let's take a quick look back at what the subsets were in here and see if we can find anything here. Obviously, we have the base card minis which apparently have some different orders and stuff like that. Um, some of them have no number, so I guess that's something I could be looking for. Some of them could be glossy, um, print parallels. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, Brooklyn back, relic version, frame mini relic, dual autograph relic book, frame mini player autograph, frame mini player autograph parallels. A lot of autographs, a lot of autographs, a lot of autographs. Full size inserts of historic hits was one out of four. Um, we have the T51 Murad Reimagined, one in four. Uh, there's a frame cloth variation of that. The Rallying Back, the Deep Sea Shiver, there's one in eight for those. There's parallels apparently there. The Arboreal Appreciation, the Birds of a Feather. Mini inserts far, far away. Mascots in real life. Good for you. World's largest. Hats off. World leaders. Oh, we could have got world leaders. And rookie design variations. So that's what we could have gotten in here. So, uh, anywho, this is the design for the 
Allen and Ginter card. If you like it, you like all this old school randomness, I guess get these cards. Um, for me personally, um, I would pass moving forward. I just, there's not enough in there to keep me interested in what I'm gonna get. So I could care less about trees and birds and animals and comedians and hockey players and soccer players and stuff like that. But um, that is the Allen and Ginter Tops 2021 set of cards. Um, this has been the Geek Showcase. Tune in next time for another chance to look at something geeky and to be geek proud.